Hey, hey, hey guys, it's Old Man G here, back again with another early morning video actually for Red Devil Studio. Um, today we're just going to talk about Bruno Fernandes. Again, Bruno Fernandes yet again. Um, and as the title says, game over. Game over for Bruno Fernandes. So, um, it's really two things in this video, and it's not going to be a, a long video, but it's really two things. Um, the first thing is that recently Bruno Fernandes was asked about... Um, basically his, his his deal like what happened in the transfer window um and long story in the short of it what bruno fernandez essentially has sort of said is that there was a deal that was agreed and this is coming from bruno fernandez's mouth by the way this is not coming from um you know a a second hand or it's a rumor or whatever this is coming specifically from bruno fernandez's mouth when basically he himself says that he was close to signing for Spurs, okay, he had an agreement with Spurs, but it it didn't pull through because essentially Spurs didn't want to cover the cash. You know, he basically tells GQ Portugal, says, as you all know, Tottenham made a lot of proposals for me. Everything was right with me, or practically should be. I never made any big demands. My manager was always dealing with the financials. It wasn't as my goal to play in England. Sporting, you know, that everyone knows that and there were conditions for things to be done. But Sporting understood the value was not enough and I have to respect the decision. So, you know, no Manchester United. No mention of Manchester United or no, no mention of Manchester United having any conversations, any proposals, etc. No mention of Manchester United at all. Um, now, recent rumours, this is coming from ESPN, it's not being reported by anyone else, so I'm really going to take it with a pinch of salt. Um, says that um, Bruno Fernandes agreed to transfer to Real Madrid. Now, I just think that that's... It could be true, but I just think, especially when they, when they um, let Danny Cabajalas go, um, I just can't see it happening, really. Um, is that it could happen, um, but it'd be very strange for Real Madrid to, to, to just pick, pluck Bruno Fernandes out of obscurity um, and take a risk on him at Real Madrid. At least I think anyway. I could be wrong. But that's rumours going by, by ESPN. But no other media outlets are carrying it. So I'm not really sure. You know, I'm, I'm not going to... I'm not gonna, It's not going to be trustworthy. That's the point I'm trying to make. Um, the point I'm trying to make, however, though, is that there's no been no mention of Manchester United at all. And that's why I put Game Over in this title, is that if you remember in the previous video that I posted about Bruno Fernandes... Um, which some people said it was clickbait, or some people said it's the Glazer, etc. Um, you know, I said the, the rumours were suggesting that the scouting team United were not interested in Bruno Fernandes. It's not. And many people disagreed with that. But the reality is, and I, and I, and I emphasise this point, the reality is that if United were generally interested in Bruno Fernandes, they would have um, made a bid for him this summer. There would have been some talk, there would have been some, some negotiation with a player. The fact that Bruno Fernandes doesn't mention Manchester United at all, if anything, he mentions Tottenham, that came late into it, just goes to show you that, to be frank, the whole saga, the whole thing was just smoke. It was just smoke screen. There was nothing to it. It was just the Portuguese press and his agent trying to get him a major transfer from a sports in Lisbon. But from from this latest information, I would say it's game over for Bruno Fernandes because it just seems that United are just not interested in Bruno Fernandes. They're not. We just need to accept it. They're not interested in Bruno Fernandes. They're not. And we need to accept or try and figure out what type of player they are interested in, interested in because I'm getting the impression that United wanted or were more keen on getting Sean Longstaff into the club than they were um, a Bruno Fernandes and that's the reality of Manchester United Football Club at this moment in time pro Brexit as it were Brexit FC squad instead of diversifying that cast um, and I think that might um, bite us in the butt in the future um, so yeah just a brick summary guys um, like I said game over I feel effectively I'm willing to be proven wrong but from the combination of the Tottenham news to even this even if it's suspicious Real Madrid news even if he stays at Sporting I just feel that United would never seem to never be interested in Bruno Fernandes um, at all. Um, they showed no indication of being interested in him. I know bids, and from the players' mouth, it doesn't seem that like they've even approached him verbally to speak. It just seems to be it was an interest, and that interest died. Um, so yeah, that's so for everyone going in on Ed Woodward and saying Woodward should have got this, should have got short sure that that. Well, maybe it was Ed Woodward's fault, maybe it was the players' fault, but the reality is that. The player was not 
uh, have not been spoken. He, he doesn't mention Oli or anyone, so to speak. So, um, yeah, um, it is what it is. Thanks for listening, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe to Red Devil Studio. Follow us on Twitter, We United X, and smash that notification button to get the latest updates from this channel. Have a nice day, guys, and cheers.